Hello, 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 and I, 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 I'm going to put this under prog review. <laughs> Ping. Sorry, why does that always happen? I can dismiss my messages with a click of my finger. Why does it do that? Why, anyway. <laughs> okay, cut. We'll do that again. Hi, and welcome to. I think this is going to be a prog review. I'm talking about again. I never thought I'd hear myself say this. Andre Three Thousand's new album, New Blue Sun. <laughs> Andre Three Thousand, better known of being the other half of Outcast. Hey ya, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Um, hey hey ya. He's got he, anyway. He's got a new album out. In fact, it's his debut solo album. I mean, goes, his real name is Andre Benjamin. He appeared as Jimi Hendrix in that biopic that they weren't allowed to use Hendrix's music in. I quite enjoyed it, but it really needed Hendrix's music. But anyway, I read this um, this report last week about Andre's new album, New Blue Sun. And I was colour me intrigued, for they described it as an ambient jazz flute album and I thought oh I, I've, I've got to I've just got to check that out I've got to check that out and so lo and behold it appeared on one of the streaming services and and I listened to it and I've been, it's a big one it's a bit of a big one it's 87 minutes 41 seconds long it's a biggie it's a biggie and um Yeah, so he's a he's a flautist he's a flautist now. Um, where do we start? At the beginning, uh, the tracks have some very interesting titles. Like the first track is called "I Swear." I really want to make a rap album, but this is literally the way the wind blew me this time. That's the name of the opening track. The second track is called "The Slang Word." I can't say it because of demonetization rolls off the tongue far far with far better ease than the proper word do you agree <laughs> um again the uh the title was itself I'll make it intriguing and so yeah the first track I I, I loaded it up you know played it and I'm thinking wow this really is an ambient album this is a 2023 ambient album from a, a wow, a, a, an established, you know, well-known pop artist, and I'm like, wow. And I thought, yeah, the first track. I mean, the tracks are quite long. The shortest one is three minutes forty-nine. Um, the longest is seventeen minutes eleven. And so you can hear what the uh, how, how the uh, how the album is <laughs> there's lots and again the first track is it's you know it's slow it's lots of um textures that we would associate with ambient music bells chimes gongs um ambient sound effects you know mouth movements you know sound chewing i'm sure i heard chewing on it somewhere um so yeah there's all sorts of this bedding that's going on which unfolds and in this is um, Benjamin's flute work. Now his flute work is this is this is what's interesting, right? Because um, it's mm, in some parts he sounds like he's doing okay, but in the second track, the second track particularly, it sounds like he's never played the flute before. <laughs> And it's like they've handed it to a stranger. And it's really kind of um, naive and tentative and everything's really unsure. And of course, it could be that he's, he's actually playing it like that. But to me, it sounded like somebody who had never played the instrument <laughs> before. It was like a, a complete amateur. So I'm thinking, now, is this an absolute piss take? Is this a piss take? Is he taking a piss? But then I got to the third track, that night in a Y, when I turned into a panther and started making these low register purring tones that I couldn't control. Shit was wild. That's the title of the third track. 
And so I'm like, yeah, I'm William. And so by the third track, um, my head, the top of my head explodes because it sounds like John Hassel. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? We're in John Hassel territory. The whole, the whole feeling changes, and it sounds like you know something off of uh, City of Fiction, one of you know Hassel's later, well, nineties albums, and it's you know you've got this shifting, you know, background going on, and the the flute, and I'm like, oh wow, <laughs> oh wow, um, and that's it really. The only the only downside, I mean, I think it's I think it's remarkable, but the length is just it's ridiculously long. It's ridiculous. It's stupidly long. Um, not as stupid as the trip. The cost of the triple vinyl album, uh, which I've seen. Um, so yeah, it's it is quite utterly utterly bizarre and left you know coming out of left field. I, I think yeah, it works though. The fact that it is. Like a, I think it's like a triple album, triple vinyl. Um, it doesn't really kind of go anywhere, but then that is the nature of ambient music. But he does get stuck. He does get bogged down with this. You know, he's a flutist. It's a flute sound. And again, I mean, the same argument could be could be placed with you know John Hassel, but John Hassel kind of plays his trumpet. Well, he did play his trumpet and tried to get all sorts of weird noises and guttural sounds out of the instrument, you know, without it sounding like a, you know, a trumpet, trumpet, if you know what I mean. Whereas this sounds like flute, flute all the way through it, you know. So, you know, it is a, it is a, it is like a, a strange. I found it. I did find it a bit entrancing, involving, utterly bizarre creation. You know, but there we are. It's it, it came out of left field. It shocked me. I didn't think such a thing could exist, and that's the beauty of this: is that this man decided to put out this record. It's not going to be for everyone. I'm not sure if it's for me because there's a part of me. There's a little. There's a little naggy sound at the back of my mind that goes, "It's a piss take, Darren. It's, this is a piss take." <laughs> Um, but there's the then there, but then there's the ambient side of me that goes no this sounds like a genuine bona fide ambient album, um, and again if this was the 1980s you'd file this under new age because it's got that new age 80s new age vibe to it it's kind of a bit you know backward looking I think that's the limitation of it because it does kind of um, you know tick a lot of those new age boxes you know. You know, gongs and bells and chimes you know there's no there's no sense of it being from the 21st century it's kind of timeless in that respect you know it, and it has that very familiar you know tone palette that you'd expect from artists in the new age section so you know that's that's interesting, but if you want an album, I mean, this would be good for you know if you're if you're meditating. It's a meditative album, you know. If people, you know, in their uh, in their Buddhism classes could slip this on, and I think it it'd work well there. And uh, if you've got a dinner party, you know, middle class dinner party where no one wants to be disturbed, you could say, "I'm just going to put on the new Andrew Three Thousand record. It's a triple vinyl, you know. It cost me ninety quid. Yeah, ninety quid. They want fucking ninety quid for the vinyl. It's like fucking hell. Um, so yeah, I was, I was very, very um, surprised by it. Um, very surprised. But who knows? Maybe, maybe the next album will be a, a rap album with plenty of ambient flute on it from Mr. Benjamin. So yeah, go and check it out because it's something that you could never believe would happen. You know, somebody who, like I said, had the big career with Outkast and you know the the pop hits, the rap pop hits that they had um, there, and then appearing in this guy's, which, like I said, it's. Um, Ambient jazz flute. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, that's it. That's the review. I thoroughly enjoyed it, even though it's too long and 
It's like, and it just made me grin. It made me go, I can't believe this is a thing. It's one of those records. So yeah, I've been talking about Andre 3000's new record, New Blue Sun, uh, which uh, is out. 87 minutes, 41 seconds. It's a big one. It's a big one. And uh, yeah, do check it out. It's um, it's really quite marvellous <laughs> if you like ambient, you know. And it's, like I said, it sounds like something from EG Records back in the 80s that you'd find in the New Age section. Um, yeah, it lacks an adventurous side. It's really much in its groove. But then records are, aren't they? And that is the sound of the missus making all sorts of caterwauling noises. 87 minutes of that. You'd want to cut off your own ears, wouldn't you? Anyway, thanks for watching. That was it. Probably one.